One of the great things about Salute Military Golf Association, uh, from my perspective, is you know the mission's pretty straightforward. Um, it's to provide uh, an opportunity for, for veterans, disabled veterans, uh, and just veterans in general uh, to participate in the game of golf and learn about the game of golf. Uh, golf is a, it's not an easy game to learn. In order to get the guys out there on the golf course and to feel comfortable, we provide a series of eight uh, lessons over an eight-week period of time that are instructed by New England PGA uh, professionals. And they provide the basic information, you know, the grip, the stance, posture, swing, etc., and also course management so that we can get these guys ready to go out on the golf course. When they're done with the eight-week program, uh, those that qualify for it, we provide them with a brand new custom fitted set of tailor-made golf clubs and uh, a golf bag with a SMGA logo on the bag itself. We need funds to sponsor that. We're a 501c3 organization. All donations that are uh, contributed to SMGA are fully tax deductible under our 501c3 uh, banner. Victoria Reddy was a golfer. So it kind of interested me, and I was kind of like going with her, along with her, and just uh, hitting some balls, awfully, by the way. And I said, you know what, it, maybe if I learn it, maybe I get to love it just as much as she does. And I really do, and it helped me out a lot. When I'm on the course, everything is quiet, it's relaxed, and I feel calm. I started, you know, Googling and looking up the information on SMGA, and I thought it was going to be an amazing opportunity, but I wasn't sure if I could be a part of it. And so, mm -hmm. you know, after conversations, you know, um, Jerry said that, hey, yes, it's for the family and those who support the veteran as well. We are on the golf course, you know, and then we have all the guys from the, from the group there. It's, it becomes like a, like a party, you know, so we have a lot of fun. I mean, it's been fun, really fun. There's certain phases and stages that you go through, and one of them for me was just you lay there and you kind of think about the things you won't be able to do anymore. And it had been mentioned when I was at Walter Reed, I'm like, no, I can't golf, look at me. How am I going to do that? I couldn't even drive the golf cart, that might hit a golf ball. <clears throat> they pointed me in the direction of the SMGA and a machine called a Paragolfer, which actually allows me to get out and play golf. But I figured, why not, I'll go, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. And the, being at the drive range, it was kind of like, it was a good feeling being out there again. But what sold me was the first time out on the course. Didn't matter how well or how poorly I was hitting the golf ball. Didn't care. Just the fact that I was out there. Fresh air, other vets around. It was starting to fill the void a little bit. Didn't realize I had a problem until about a year and a half into being home. That was when I... I went to the VA and I got help, faced my fears, faced my problems, and um, I joined SMGA in August of 2015, and since then, golf is that other crutch for me. SMGA is great. Everybody welcomed me with open arms. It was, it was nice being around uh, fellow uh, vets because we always, you know, have something to talk about, always, you know, joking around. Um, definitely felt a place where I belonged, you know, being there, and um, obviously the lessons with SMGA, you know, learning the trades of golf, learning how to, you know, do certain things and um, be a better golfer. And also, I honestly feel like I'm a better person for it.